And speaking of better movies. Yeah, on this Valentine's Day, we're talking about the most romantic movies ever. Ooh, maybe someone you want to canoodle with. Mm -hmm. We asked you on Facebook yesterday which movies you thought were the most romantic of all time. Here are some of the ones that you came up with. Ghost. I didn't even think about Ghost. Oh, yeah, I like Ghost. Dirty Dancing. Oh, uh, yeah. Two with Patrick Swayze right there. Mm -hmm. That was mm. the, he was the guy. He yeah. was the man. Mm -hmm. He was the man. Uh, the Notebook from a Nicholas Sparks novel. My Best Friend's Wedding with Julia Roberts and Dermot Mulroney. And someone added uh, 50 First Dates to that list. The, that stars Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore. All of them have a mix of seriousness and sweetness to them. But what movies are on Janine Basinger's top 10 list of the roast romantic? Yeah, she's here to show us. Janine is a professor at Wesleyan. She's also the founder and cur curator of Wesleyan University's Cinema Archives. And basically, she is a nationally known expert on film, a big deal in the movie world, who also happens to be one of the nicest people to ever come on our show. <laughs> yes, so thank happy you so Valentine's much for being Day with to us. you. Yeah, same to you guys. So, romanticism. I know. It's, and uh, I have such a weird list. And it's okay. It's always weird. We love your list. Okay, good. So these are the right. ones that we maybe should, if we haven't seen it, we have to see these movies you're going to tell I us. I think these are all really Valentine's Day movies because they're really about love, about finding love, about having a Valentine or not having a Valentine. Okay. So they're zeroed in. I could do a different list, but I got you some real heartbreakers, heart uplifters. I got a mix. Here. All right, so the first is an American in Paris. We're going to take a look. Paris is a mood. Mm. A longing you didn't know you had until it was answered. Paris is like, it's like love or art or faith. It can't be explained, only felt. Just listen to my heart go pit pat. It started from the start, I felt like that. Hum it, strum it, sing it, drum it, what a thrill I'm getting from it. Tra la 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 la. I saw that on Broadway, and I, I was I really wasn't looking forward to it. I don't know mm -hmm. why, and I was wowed and mesmerized yeah. by that story. It's really about love. It's, it has that great Gershwin music. And like that song shows the exhilaration of falling in love. And it just transforms you. And it's so beautiful. It has Our Love Is Here To Stay, which is my favorite Valentine song. But it's about the joy of falling in love. And they do it through music and dance. And then they repeat it as a ballet to show mm. that it doesn't always go smoothly but it's worth it every step of the way. And this was an Oscar-winning best film oh. of the year, which mm. is very unusual for a musical, so it's great. Okay, and our next, a little bit more modern, you might have seen this one, let's show a clip of Beauty and the Beast. He was a lonely beast, cursed by a mysterious spell, and she was the beautiful young girl who could set him and his kingdom free. She's the one, she has come to break the spell. They were two complete opposites. Anything to do with him. She is being so difficult. Until something <laughs> wonderful happened. <laughs> now, why did you pick that? Well, it says everything in mm. the clip. She's the one. They set each other free. It's it, it's about, you know, first of all, some Valentine's parties have to be for families. You know, you've got the kids and you yes. can't go out. This is for everybody. You can do a whole Valentine's group here in the family. But this is about love can transform you. It makes you better. You, you become a better person. You appreciate the other person. They're illuminated by it. And it's just charming, utterly charming. And the music is very good. This, this, by the way, is the first animated movie ever nominated for Best Picture of the Year. Interesting. So it's kind of a singular film in that regard. It happened one night. Let's take a look. <laughs> you mind if I try? You. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> oh, you're such a smart Alec. Nobody knows anything but you. I'll stop a car and I won't use my thumb. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> the system on my own.
<laughs> an oldie but goodie. And the, why did you pick that one? It's an oldie but goodie, the granddaddy of them all. This is the one that defines it. They start out hating each other. They have nothing in common. They're stuck together with each other. They have to solve problems and travel. And as they do, they fall in love. They find out about each other. And it's very sexy and erotic, this film, really, unexpectedly. It's a true love story because two people have to get to know one mm. another and change and develop and share. And it's a real love story, and it's very funny. This is a foolproof movie. Okay. You show it, people like people it. People laugh. All right, and our next one, Moonstruck. You haven't seen this. I know. I'm oh. see a clip. The moon is a little like love. Will you marry me? I will marry you. I will be your wife. Do you love him, Loretta? No. Good. When you love him, they drive you crazy. Sometimes. Why are you marrying Johnny? He's a fool. It makes you act a little crazy. Where are you taking me? To the bed. Oh, God. Okay, I don't care. I don't care. Take me. Take me to the bed. <laughs> Cher was so what They were yeah, all wonderful yes. in that movie. She is radiantly fabulous. I have goosebumps. That, I love it. Yeah. And also it says, you know, give your heart up. Give up. Don't try to be practical. Don't marry that nice guy who's got a good job. When your heart tells you, go somewhere else, follow your heart. Johnny just, Tamarar. Absolutely. <laughs> go with the unbelievable. Take a chance, baby. Take a chance. Take a chance. Right. All right. Uh, uh, Murphy's Romance. Let's take a look. Well, I just wanted to look into your blue eyes again. They're brown. They haven't been giving you a little trouble? Nothing but. Damn it, Bobby Jack. Why were you never ever as good on your feet as you were as bad? What do you do? You're asking me about my sex life? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. But this you say this too. is not some one that people think of a this lot. So what did you pick I, this one for? I love this movie. It's just a little wonderful movie with two wonderful stars. It's about second chance and, and that's important for Valentine's Day. Oh, it it's really not is. all about youth and it going easily and being simple. She's divorced. She's got a hard life. He's widowed. He's been lonely. But they come together. On, it's about the unbelievability. It's about opening yourself up even if you've been hurt because maybe something better is out there. And it's a really sweet, charming movie. Okay. These two people are great in it. Marty. Yes. This is for you. Okay. This is for the guy who has no Valentine. Oh. This is for the guy who says, I'll never get a Valentine. <laughs> let's, let's, let's take a look. <laughs> I'm just a fat little man, a fat, <laughs> ugly man. You're not ugly. I'm ugly, I'm ugly, I'm ugly. Ma, leave me alone. Oh, boy. What are you doing New Year's Eve? Nothing. This is the simplest and the most beautiful love story I've ever seen in a movie. Aww. Well, you're not ugly. You're well, not yeah, ugly. I tell you know, I just. You're not ugly. No, you're not ugly. But I would but, be having dinner with my mother if it weren't for well, Paul. Well, there you go. This is about the people who don't have a Valentine needs. A, they need a Valentine movie that gives them hope. Yeah. Living with a mother, shy, lonely. This is a movie that says even Ernest Borgnine can find a Valentine. It gives hope. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful great. movie, well written too, okay. by Patty Shayeski. Awesome. So next, it's a little bit of a tearjerker, Voyager. Take a look. I knew you were married and I walked right in with my eyes wide open. I'm immune to happiness. You weren't immune that night on the mountain. You call that happiness? My darling, you are crying. These are only tears of gratitude. Don't oh, talk like that. You see, no one ever called me darling. Me. Now, Voyager. You know, this, you have to have a tearjerker. Right. Yes. Some people need to be home with a box of Kleenex watching and crying over Val Valentine's Day calls for tears as well as joy. <laughs> The, even my students who hate sentiment, hate love, I say they're heartless little beasts, bless their heart. <laughs> they ball in this movie. They do. They do. It kills them. They fight. They fight. But it's a beautiful story. Really, really well acted by Betty Davis. And it gets you. you know, the sadness of not having love, of finding it and it can't be totally fulfilled, 
just a one. I guarantee you will cry. Okay. You will like it. Okay. Uh, notorious. Let's take a look. Ooh. a thriller yeah, too. See, see, first of all, for Valentine's Day, just hold up a picture of Cary Grant. And That's then you're all good. You really I, I, good. I was thinking Anything the same need, exact thing. Man. And also, you can pick a million films with him, but this is different. But this is a spy, Alfred Hitchcock, danger. They're in danger. They're spy, but they find love, and it's a really passionate love, but they're blocked by everything around them. But in the end, he's her white knight. He comes in and rescues her from the castle and carries her out from wow. the Nazis. It's really, really romantic. Wow. And the love scene is one of the greatest ever. That is oh. fantastic. And next, something that's getting a lot of play in the media with the new version, but a star is born. Take a look. Can I ask you a personal question? OK. Tell me something, girl. Do you write songs or anything? I don't sing my own songs. Why? I just don't feel comfortable. Why wouldn't you feel comfortable? Almost every single person has told me they like the way I sounded, but that they didn't like the way I look. I think you're beautiful. Hmm. So he, you picked the new version. Yeah, he, he brings to her her beauty through his love and you know what this is like if you want to go out on valentine's mm -hmm. for date night this is still playing in the theaters it's a really good movie mm. they're both fabulous and you know it does bring you the bad news it's not going to work out folks i mean you know <laughs> most of us know this we're going on a date we know come on it's not really going to work you know it's the downer thing but while they have it they have it and it's it's a good movie it's a good new movie all right uh, sleepless in seattle let's take a look i love that one It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. What if I never meet him? What if this man is my destiny and I never meet him? Your destiny can be your doom. I want to meet you. Dad, read this, read this. Where is Seattle? Right. Where is Baltimore? That's right there. <laughs> Look, one, two, three, four, but there's like 26 states. But what I really don't want to do is end up always wondering what might have happened and knowing I could have done something. Oh, this is so movie. sweet, this movie. And it's a movie about movies. It, it, they fall in love. She dreams of a Cary Grant movie and a fair to mm -hmm. read. This is a movie that says that destiny, that romantic destiny of the movies, it can happen. It really can happen. And you believe it. You believe it. It's yeah. very sweet. And you're going to be heading off to California ahead of the I Oscars? Am. I am. And for people who don't, well, are they going to show my last bonus movie? Yeah, we, we don't, don't have time, time for that, but, but we know, know that Casablanca is always a good one. let you down. Never. And for my Valentine of 52 years, I'm giving him a Fred Astaire Ginger Rogers movie. That is fantastic. Ooh. Well, congratulations. Thanks, Which, one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Swing time. Swing, Swing time. time. has a fine romance. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Janine. Hey, we what a great, it. either way, a movie is always a great yeah. way to celebrate Valentine's. Mm -hmm. You know why? Yeah. Because the day is done, you don't have to do anything. <laughs>